chat, and welcome back to Frostpunk, our second episode on the ARCs scenario. One of the first ones, that's actually the, the first one we're playing past the main game. Good to see you all here. Welcome aboard. Welcome back. Good to have you all with us. The beer factory? Oh yes, we'll be back into that at some point. But for now, we got to keep on trucking through Frostpunk, so welcome to all of you. Good to see you all in the chat. Chat where you at? One's in the chat. Chat where you at? Good to see everyone. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. What is it, Tuesday already? Boy. Uh, yeah, a Wednesday. My bad. No, Wednesday. Tuesday. Yeah, wow. All right, we're already in the middle of the week. Cool. Well, let's jump back into Frostpunk and pick up where we left off as we continue to explore all these uh, lovely uh, DLC missions and scenarios and other things before the sequel comes out, which is soon. EBD. We'll see. If they happen to delay the game, though, I certainly praise that and uh, we'll at least have plenty of time to complete uh, this and many other scenarios before the release of the second game fully on team hopefully anyway good to see you all here yeah parka emotes in the chat polar bear emotes in the chat chat you got them enjoy them and be about it let's jump back into Frostpunk and uh, continue on what we're continuing on with all right uh let's do day 11 the arcs are we only 11 days in i thought we were like day 16 17 or something Hmm. All right. Well, we, it's been good that we've been going slow. How was Broken Arrow? Broken Arrow is good, but I wasn't able to play much. There was server issues for the launch, which is a shame, but not unheard of. Not not shocking that there was issues in a, you know, a launch Steam game. But we'll be playing more of that tomorrow. We did take about three and a half hours to make uh, what they call battle groups or decks. So we'll be using those tomorrow. So tomorrow's stream of Broken Arrow will be even better, even bigger. Oh, there comes the big O storm right there. Oof. All right, we're sending out scouts. We got scouts coming back. What do we got? 21 hours on this one? No, they're heading out. These guys are coming back. Wow, look at all that stuff. All right, we got three steam cores, some coal, some wood, iron, and raw food. I think we really want to focus on food now. It's really the only thing that we've got, uh, like a shortage, not a shortage of, but that we could definitely stock up on. In fact, we need 500, so we may as well lean hard into that. Coal and expeditions. Oh, and build five houses. Well, I'd like to do food first. What do we got for employee, uh, em the employed? Got nine people working at the sawmill. Got a couple robos working over at the steelworks. Okay, just got to catch our bearings here and figure out what we're doing. There's a care house there. Oh, I need another steam core if we're going to build another hot house. I think if we're going to make more food, we need another hot house, not a cook house. So I could probably put like two people working there, fill out the sawmill, then that leaves two more people. We need to build an infirmary. That too takes a steam core. Got some Otto's working at the wood industry, working at the coal industry. Wooden coal and storage. Time for a fun review of Frostpunk. It's a good game. Here's your review. Good game. Good fun. Oh, we need to uh, make another auto, but we're waiting. We need more steel, which is on the way. We're delivering steel and we're mining it, so okay, let's continue on. Okay, bearing set. What's up on Hilling? Hello everybody, hi Anna, good to see you. Well, I've got nobody in the research offices. Search houses so we could start down that uh, path here shortly. I don't want to spend the materials yet until tomorrow. Actually, uh, we'll have scouts here in about four hours, so I think we should make an, a robot first and we'll have them work in the. Maybe the um, medical industry. 
we'll get five of our engineers back and we can put them into this research. Good. Perfect place to build a Facebook server, yeah. We could do soup. Hope will fall slightly. Discontent will rise slightly. Eating soup will cause discontent. Food, I feel, is going to be an issue. Oh, we will get a guy back. The guy who had his leg crushed. And there is the risk of more robots hurting people, so let's do that. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. We'll make a prosthetic from ten steel. That guy will be out of the out of the care house and back back to work. But that's where he wants to be too. Feeling useful. No soup for you. That's right. No soup for anybody. We're not going to go down that route yet. We'll see. we got 19 hours of coal left. German harder to pronounce? I don't know. Some words, maybe. Oh, here we go. Scouts are back. There we go. Yeah, tomato soup with grilled cheese. I don't know if we're going to find cheese out here, but maybe, maybe bread. Three steam cores. Outstanding. We'll order a robot. Actually, I think we should do the robot first. Oh. scout group returned. Head to that. Now let's head to the west first. No, dude. Go. How do you make sushi in a frozen apocalypse? A DoorDash, I suppose. You can probably DoorDash, Grubhub. Hello, Emma. Welcome back. A uh, game with no cheese. Unplayable. Yeah. Uh, I was cheesing out some of those boss battles in Pal World, but that game does have cheese as well. Literally. Literally cheese. Okay, we're making another robot. Oh, and it's going real fast. Nice. Temperature's about to drop two levels. Might want to do some research here again. to, yeah. Work time. Get back to work. No, make the... Oh, damn it. It restarted the robot. Damn it. I was trying to, like, queue up orders. Damn it. One of them to finish that robot and then cue and prosthetic for that guy and then move the care house. Damn it. Mad.
was he doing? If you don't save those seeds, Taco Bell can't exist. You're right, there's probably like some really good spices in there like habanero and... A figure in the distance, sir. We've noticed something in the distance. A small black dot in the white desert moving slowly towards us. It's possible it might be a survivor. Wait and see. Oh. It is survivors. Um, I'll wait and see. I'd like to rather go out and meet them, but I need to get those supplies in the west. Unless we have an auto go out there. This one looks dirty. We can make him into a scout here shortly. We just need a little bit more steel. There we go. The building cannot support another expedition. Current limit two, damn. And we'll get you working in the healthcare. Make a prosthetic for that guy. One survivor. You can send scouts to meet the survivor and escort them to our city safely. Well, it's just one guy. You probably, you'll probably make it. Oh, they can refuel from the steam hubs. Okay, I thought they had to go to the generator. That's what he was doing. They was refueling. Cool. A stuck automaton. Sir, an automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. Uh, we can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other. That means shutting down either the building or the automaton. Uh, why not just leave it there? I want him working at the steelworks. Robot will be unable to work for 12 hours. The workplace will be inactive for 12 hours. Isn't that the same? Uh, shut down the steelworks. That's fine. Whatever. Did we get a prosthetic made for that guy? Going to get a prosthesis. Okay, cool. to move where that is. Should have a prosthetic now. Store some more resources. Can we use the automaton somewhere else now? Uh, yeah, maybe. The other hothouse, maybe? We have none available, though. This guy's gonna give us bad news. 
That guy's gonna come here and it's gonna be either refugees or we need something. It's not gonna be good. out more coal. There we go. So functioning. Functioning. Will be functioning shortly. Offline. On purpose. Why not just build underground? I guess the uh, ground is frozen. Yeah, I'd imagine. Mechanical calculators research. Good job, guys. Power upgrade. We're going to need to do that. Got to save those seeds. Okay, scouts are almost there. They have arrived at the rock formation. A, di a distinct spot in the frost land, we use it as a waypoint. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some other promising locations from here. Isolated shelter or a research outpost. Oh, well. Isolated shelter, please. Day in two hours. Seven hours. Try to go there first. Building the hot house so we'll get more raw food. I'm going to try to store up more of that. They said we need 500, so close. The Enshrouded streams have been very fun. Yep. We'll be playing more of that every night, at least for the whole week. Let's go for food. Now that that's built. Let's steal more food. That's going to deliver horrible news. Something exploded. Somebody died. Uh. Yep, title should say uh, Frostpunk on Twitch. Yep. Yep, yep. 
Yep, yep. Oh, we got one more steam core, so we can build another robot. Maybe. on wood let's go for gathering coal all right head towards the snow dune time into research. Well, these are all into food, okay. Well, we'll start with food and then we'll work on other stuff. Wow, we got seven automatons now. Great. There's people off that. Let's go for coal. Yep, steelworks can be upgraded. We don't have that unlocked yet, though. We're kind of trying to focus more on the coal. Okay, heater's on, right? Apparently the seedling arc is freezing even though it's at livable. These three seem like they should be the problem. Um, boy train, maybe in the future.
We have heaters, improved heaters, but it's not going to be enough. We've got to get to tier 4 for the advanced. people to work in that one okay so now I gotta move the heat around a little bit need more steel to get that last one heated I don't know if we'll be build heaters until the end of the day. The arcs might be able to survive a day. But now I need some uh, fail safe there. Uh oh. Oh, there's the guy. So an exhausted man just reached our city badly frostbitten with a harrowing story to tell. He said he'd come from a nearby city called New Manchester. It's inhabited by mostly workers and their families, but resources are running out and they're in trouble. Fearing the coming storm, they sent a scout to look for help. He's a sole survivor. He begs us to help his peace. people. We must find out more. Saving the messenger. Captain, the man who arrived in New Manchester is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help right away, he'll die. He could be our only chance to learn more about their city. Let's hope we can save him. Survivors reached the city. Sir, a group of survivors have reached our city. They're tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they're ready to lend a hand however they can. How many people? Ten more engineers? Oh, sweet. Great. Count the Frostland and find New Chester before New Manchester before the storm. Well, into the steel mill, please. Can I tell us the difference between normal arcs and... F oh, the, the normal game and the arcs? The arcs were trying to save seeds. So that way we can repopulate the earth. So these, like, giant buildings we need to keep warm. We're working on that. Okay, let me give that other one a job here. Okay, so we should have... Autos all on those buildings. Good. Oh, and then we got people working in the uh, farm. I want metal first so that way we can build the heaters. And then we need the autos on coal every day. Expedition camp. I have no scouts over there. We got two weeks to prepare. Scout. Gilbert Rudhall.
New Manchester, helping at what cost? Sir, some of our people are restless. They argue that with the storm closing in, we won't be able to succeed in our mission and help New Manchester at the same time. They understand it's a difficult decision, but they want uh, to know what priority will be when it, we have to choose. We can't abandon people in need. fuel costs tremendously. Got you hooked on Traveler's Rest is a good game. Yeah, and uh, Frostpunk 2 should be coming halfway through the year, maybe. We'll see. We shall see. No, no good news so far in this game. All bad news. Point six an hour. Our research. All right, it's going to warm up, so we might not need that. Plenty less wood and steel to make. Increase efficiency by 10%. That's pretty good. five steel. Coal production is holding. Barely. Isolated shelter. The shelter is well built and looks intact. We might be able to find some resources inside. Raw food and steam cores. Unexpected bounty. The shelter must have been built for some more uh, for an important person or a very small group. Whoever was supposed to live here never showed up. The supplies are untouched. Take the resources. Res research outpost. This man in the hospital still? can't heal him without an infirmary. Yeah, Traveler's Rest is a good game. Lots of fun. We we played that with Alex and She Fox. It was cool. Bunch of bunch of fun. Bunch of bunch of fun. Okay, let's do that research. It'll be ten percent more effective. Heaters. Gather your tools. The 
Man, all those boys into into coal. Yeah. Project Zomboy is getting an upgrade soon too, yep. And that storm is getting close. We're gonna have to turn around after this. They're right on the edge of that storm. Yeah, NPCs in Project Zomboid, yeah. I don't have a care house. Can I keep this guy in stable condition at a care house? Hopefully this upgrade helps it so that we can keep up with the coal demand. Black Betty, coal demand. Oh, Black Betty, coal demand. Zomboid's good, yeah. Yeah, the sick guy will only be able to cure with an infirmary, but we might be able to keep him in the uh, in the care house until we can get him treatment. This building should be kept warm shortly when they're done with that steam core. Snow dunes. New landmark. A supply trailer and snow-covered supplies. New. gonna play Power World, enjoy your game. Large supply trailer stuck in the ice. No way we're going to store up that amount of coal. Well, we'll try soup for a little bit maybe to get those food numbers up. Food additives. Well, soup seems a little more humane. Hear me, hear me. New law in 
the city. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven down there, okay. Sweet, sweet sodas, baby. Nothing like uh, cedar and potatoes. Or whatever we're growing. I'm assuming Matt Damon's in there doing something. We gotta make more food. We got more people showing up here, and we're probably gonna have to feed the people of New Manchester. Kind of weird though, because I I researched autonomous scouts, and this this here says allowing us to raise the limit to two. I, more scouts Okay, looking good. I think that's actually getting warmer. Yep, that's good. Okay, so all the arcs are taken care of, and it's about to get warmer. When it does, we'll turn the heat down a little bit. I think that group is dead. Yeah, this is uh, one of the scenarios known as the Arcs. We're building a new city in kind of one of the new... There's a new area that you can go to after you beat the main campaign. Or at least you can do it afterwards. Yep. down. It's going to warm up. Good. They reached the outpost. Research outpost is in a, was it deserted a long time ago. It's quite old, but might still be something useful inside. Steam cores and coal. Gone home. People who worked here were explorers. They paved the way north for the rest of us. They must have left in a hurry. Perhaps to reunite with them, uh, reunite, reunite with their families, before the great winter took hold. Three steam cores, 170 coal. Wow. Work, work.
Two sick absences. I don't remember approving that. I did not sign a law that said people could get sick. Is that in the book of laws? I don't think so. Unacceptable. Oh, good. That's full, right? something else for a while. Well, they pick up that coal for a little while. So the thumpers gathered all the coal they can for a little bit. We're going to now gather that for a while. Alright. Automaton integration researched. Well, we could finally build an infirmary. that and get that guy to talk yeah see get you to talk see yeah we should research efficient gathering steel. You wonder who made the soundtrack for this game? I don't know, but it's damn good. Make it. You think we need charcoal? Maybe. I think the coal thumpers are alright, though. I'm gonna work on that faster gathering. I think we got like one, if we got one coal thumper and two guys gathering, we'll be all right. What's going on here? A note of thanks. Someone left a note at the care house. Thank you. Uh, with all the work you have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Uh, places like these are a little easier for us all. No. Who the hell wrote that? Gilbert's in there, the guy who came from somewhere else. We'll take care of old Gilbert. Old, old Gil will get what he needs. Gotta wait for the construction to be complete. Let's shut down the factory. We have other workers. Soundtrack's now on vinyl and limited release. Wow. Now it's made it to the supply trailer. I can't believe they're not dead. Plenty of various equipment lies scattered around the trailer. Probably taken out uh, in an attempt to free it after the ice collapsed under it. Steam cores and steel. Priceless machinery. Uh, this gear must have belonged to prospectors or explorers who came here before us. Some of it was twisted and crushed by moving ice, but we found many usable things. Steam cores and resources. Alright, RTB. 
Got to go straight home with that. Or maybe we could... everything in the west. Okay, where were we? Eater efficiency would be good. We'll start with that gathering post. It'll help us make more coal. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, Swaney, thank you very much for the uh, Raptor Hassling membership. Welcome. Now it's two. here. It's just going to be too rash, I think. Last thing is to do with the hospital, but... Rash, no cream for that. Hee <laughs> hee. Gather your tools. The shift is ending. There's a law on the upper left that will cancel the what do you mean moonshine. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent. We already got that one signed. Moonshine. Well, that'll help. We got it locked in. All right, now we're making lots of food. Good. But not enough. Let's get the auto off of that. the autonomous these guys will produce food 24 7 won't they Okay. 
I don't know. What's in the soup of mine? Magic. Souped up magic. Ten patients. We can finally work on our old friend Gilbert. Oh, Gil. Yeah. Mobile game was just released. Frostpunk Beyond the Ice. Wait, really? Are you kidding me? Mo they just dropped a mobile game? No way. Hold on. No way. No way. In-app purchases, oh. When did this drop? I see a comment yesterday. Number 14 in strategy. Wow. They actually, Frostpunk actually made a mobile game. No way. Hold on. Hold on. Let's take a look. Hold on. Wait a minute. This was a, someone posted a video a year ago. Frostpunk Beyond the Ice gameplay Android iOS Part 1 one year ago. But then somebody else posted mobile Frostpunk Beyond the Ice early access gameplay Android and iOS. What the hell? Um... Watch this video real quick. I, I'm just curious because I I don't care about mobile games, but sometimes what they'll do is they'll squeeze lore into it or some extra story, and you kind of want to like play that in order to figure it out. But it has in-app purchases, so it's like gross. Also, this is from Just New Games, but I mean they didn't make this trailer; somebody else did. How the hell do you have an early access mobile game with in-app purchases? I mean, you may as well just, at this point, we may as well just have a button that just connects to your credit card and be like, hey, we'll finish the game later. Press this button. Give us money now. This is basically where we're at. Early access mobile. I mean, that's just. Guys, I'm working on a game too. Uh, I'm going to make a website. You'll be able to pre-purchase it for $6,000. Um, I haven't really figured out what the game will be or any details pertaining to it, but you can click that button. Um, and I know Star Citizen's giving away stuff for forty-eight thousand. I'm gonna give it away for a small fifty-two thousand. The price is higher, so you know it's good. What are you getting? I don't know, but just give me money. It's super, super, mega early access uh, beta mobile in-app uh, investments. I'm calling them investments, not purchases. You're actually investing in your future and your families. Bye now. The hell? Why? Wait, is this, is this not a trailer? Oh, this is this dude playing for What's 20 minutes. More important, Let's watch the trailer at least. The code hard truth or temporary stability. With the global ice age on the horizon, we'll just watch trust the in the government waned. A handful of aristocrats formed an organization aiming to build a future in the snow. We didn't see it coming. The bitter cold swept over the nation before any plans came to fruition. Bro, is that 
Washington, D.C. Global supplies declined. Order collapsed. Appointed as captain, you must lead the dreadnought battleship towards the last remaining shelter. We have abandoned our homes and embarked on a journey seeking hope and the future. Oh, cool. This is the story about the ship, the, like, the train. The blizzard raged on, tearing everything apart. Oh, that would have been a good Even actual game. Even our ironclad dreadnought couldn't withstand this it. This would have been an actual good game if they made it... Imagine a game like, um, uh, what's the, like, U-Boat or, uh, car like, what, what's it called? Uh, aircraft carrier, whatever, survival, where you actually have to manage the passengers on the ship and all the supplies and stuff. That would have been awesome if it were an actual good game. But mobile is just like, nope. Damn. Is there any hope? Are we the last ones? Oh, this would have been good. Has civilization been devoured by ice and snow? After so many sacrifices and tests of our humanity, we will not bend, no matter the cost. Captain! Just leave us! Go! Please, take my baby with you! I will so stay! Oh, is that why they call you Captain in the in Frostbunk? Because you were, like, the captain of one of these ships and now you're in charge of the city once you arrive? Is that why they call you Captain? I didn't think about that, because in the new game they're calling you Steward, which implies that, I don't know, the captains are all getting old and dying or retiring, and now there's, like, a new wave of government coming through. My, my I family. never thought of that. Go! Don't turn back! You need to leave! Just go! Captain! We're here. Yeah. Wait, you're... Oh, you're managing the city. Oh, okay. Dude, all right. They should actually make a game where you have to manage the ships. That would be cool as hell. Like, if you have to actually manage this and, like, breakdowns and stuff like that, that'd be cool as hell. That'd be very much Oregon Trail, right? You'd have to stay against the uh, uh, ahead of the storm and other things like that. That's cool. I guess this guy played it for, like, 20 minutes, but... Huh. Well, that would be an interesting thing to explore. I never thought about that. Also, I never thought about why they called you captain, aside from being, like... I thought it was just, like, an army rank or something. Like, you know, you were part of a, I don't know, Corps of Engineers or whatever, but more on bi more about building and stuff, but, you know, the military would be the one to have all the resources to build all that stuff to get here. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go. House of Parliament. Never heard of it. That didn't look like DC to me. I think they... Well, it's early access, so they can, they can correct that. Obviously, it didn't look anything like Paris. <laughs> Frostpunk Oregon Trail, yeah. Well, that's what I thought that game would be, but it looks like it's just Frostpunk 1, but they put in-app purchases. Like, hey, Captain, uh, book a laws. Uh, you could have uh, children thrown into the generator for some extra fuel, or you could buy coal for only twenty two ninety five. Overturned rail car, best value. nine 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 nine. nine. Best value, buy now. You'd be it. Be a, it's a super nice city you have there. It'd be a shame if you weren't to give additional money to our company in order to get fictional resources. Idiots. The Stranded Alien Dawn is on sale on PlayStation right now. Should I grab it? I've had a lot of fun with it. If you like games like RimWorld or Prison uh, Architect or uh, Evil Genius... Two Point Hospital, Two Point Campus. It's got that vibe, so I would, I've, I've enjoyed it. And there's that Star Wars DLC, you know, that was pretty neat too with the whole robot. I think her name was Hope or something like that. You had to fix up that robot and teach her like to be, what do they call that, sentient or whatever. Wow, Kin Boys with the one hundo, dude. Thank you very much for the big O support. Is this where I sign up for for the new Raptor website deluxe uh, Ultimate Pack Early Access release for the 2029 game? We actually don't have a release date for my non-existent game, uh, but thank you, dude. We've gotten you into the lowest tier, the the bottom of the barrel tier. Uh, but if you want, you know, to be good at the game, just again get that overturned rail car. I just need Infinity uh, Game as a Service. <laughs> He gets it. He gets the joke. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. I've hearted it. Uh, I don't know if I can like your comment, but thank you very much. Thanks for the third super chat, dude. 
Oh, mobile games are just so like if it were if it were free with non mobile purchase. Look, it should be a free game to pr promote the new game coming out. I'm gonna see it though. No, I can heart his message, but I can't like it. But anyway, dude, thank you very much. Dino Nuggets in the chat, show him some love. Thank you very much for your support. All right, where were, where were we? Coal numbers are going up. Steel is okay. We're out of steam cores. Uh, throw children in the furnace for the uh, for a little extra power. Isn't that kind of dark, you think? No, you're right. It was actually for warmth, not for power. It's already kind of dark because you can't see the lighting, you know. This game is dark, though, with the whole child labor. Like, in our first run, we went with child labor, but I never put the kids into any jobs other than the kitchen. So they'll all grow up to be chefs and stuff. Plus, I mean, you know, I think one of the first things that I would teach my children would be... And it's kind of... It takes a lot of responsibility to be in the kitchen. There's a lot of sharp stuff, and but it's a good way to... Uh, I mean, that, that takes a lot of responsibility. There's danger in the kitchen, for sure. That's one of the first things you teach the kids. They're like, you know, don't touch a hot stove. Don't, don't do that. Better than being in the coal mines. No, this is not my first time playing Frostpunk. It's my, um, it's my second time playing through all of the DLCs. We we just played through the Winter Home main scenario, and we did great. But we're replaying re through everything until the new DLC, uh, the new Frostbug 2 comes out. Anna, thank you very much for five gifted memberships for chat. Thank you for the support. Thank you very much. Ooh, just got out of there in time. We're going to go there and then go straight home. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a custom song. Just for you. You never played any of the DLC, never finished the campaign, it was damn hard. Yeah, I, I mean, feel welcome to go back in and throw it on easier difficulty to experience the story for sure. And uh, come back and turn up the difficulty each time. It's definitely a game that if you play through on normal or like hard, you want to like turn it up. I think there's even higher difficulty than hard. I think if there's like normals hard and survival and there's even like a, a kind of a more chill build mode they, they updated the game to kind of appeal to everybody it's good stuff are we out of coal there yeah we're out of coal let's do this we'll put one on that one actually you can go on those two. Perfect. All right, coal will come in again. And then we're researching that. I need to research gathering so we can gather even more. Oh. Get going. Time to earn your bread.
Bill Logan's run and everyone over 30 gets the end. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Get the kids in the coal mine. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Well, actually, I don't even think we have... We don't even have a single... What the hell is that? Wait, didn't we cure that guy? Oh, he must be being treated. Hold on. Oh, Gilbert's being treated. Okay, it's going to take a day. All right, we're good. We're good. Yo, Bryce, thanks for the two, dude. Opinion on the Texas border? I think people uh, should be able to skateboard and surfboard in Texas, yes. I think borders across Texas should be able to do as they please. Half pipes, quarter pipes, grinding, whatever you want to do. Fight the power, man. Even though that sign says no skateboarding, it doesn't say win, man. Fight the power. <laughs> Tony Hawk taught us. Damn it, to collect S-K-A-T-E so we could unlock more skins in the store. And damn it, he's right. I'd vote for him. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, there it is, efficient gathering. Okay, so hopefully that gets us more coal. Or the generator goes bloop. Don't want that. Enshrouded boss fight today? Um, maybe? We'll see. I don't know what we have left to do in that game. Oh. Is there a way to see how long you've been subscribed to someone? No, unfortunately, I, I, YouTube has that information. And I think I can see it too, but it's not easy to look up. Or maybe that's private again. I, I Honestly, I don't know. I, I think the answer is no, but YouTube does know. But there is how long... You can see how long you've been a member. Uh, so you just got to type... Um, or wait, click click the click the join button, and then I think see perks and or claim... Or send um, member milestone, and there, there you go. John, thanks for the 11 months, dude. Appreciate that. What level am I in Enshrouded? Uh, I think 8 or 9. Uh, the leveling gives you extra skills, but it's very much like Valheim, too, where the equipment is the better thing. But don't worry, we got some equipment we can give you. That we're not using anymore. That we can't sell, we can only destroy. So it, it, it would be perfect in your hands. It would be a plus one. And Bryce, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Dude, uh, thank you. We need to pull in all the stops here. We've got nine coal, and that is bad. Pull out all the stops? Pull something. We've got to pull a fast one. Uh, 80, 89, thanks for the 27 months. Opinion on Texas Roadhouse. I don't go to Texas Roadhouse enough. I feel like I want. I should go to a Texas Roadhouse once a year. But I love when, like, five guys and... When I found out Texas Roadhouse gave away, like, free peanuts when you went in there, I felt like a, like a celebrity. I was like, are these for us? They give away free peanuts while you're waiting in, like, the, the waiting area? No effing way. But, guys, can we take a quick moment to be serious about that cinnamon butter for the buns? Oh, my God. Like, why do they even sell meat and stuff? Like, by the time I sit down, I'm already full. Like... You sit in the waiting room and you get the peanuts. Then you sit down and you get that bu the bread and the cinnamon butter. I'm already ready for a nap, and it's like, okay, do you want the, uh, you know, do you want the uh, truck tire size, uh, uh, prime rib, or do you want the, uh, you know, the the Fred Flintstone rack of ribs where it tips the car over in the drive-through? And it's like, it's 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 too hard to say no, man. Texas Roadhouse just hard to say no to, it, when you when you go in there. I need to go to. Uh, I need to go to another one. Maybe I'll get Stromby to come back over to the U.S. So we can get him back into a Texas roadhouse. Alright, looks like we're full of wood again. That's good. A few people making food. And then let's go back into the, into the old steel mines.
The wood industry should be shut down. There we go. Long hours of toil. Sir, our people are worn out. Mm, no. We have to... We have to keep pushing. No days off. No sleep-ins, no days off. Give me that research done ASAP. Then could I get a sneeze, please? No. No, I couldn't. I tried. Damn it. Well, we saved that guy's life now. Oh, wait. Palliative care. So I need to make a... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. He's being treated still. Is that guy still being treated? Okay. 19 hours. All right. All right. So we're good. We have a severe, severe problem with cold. Music. Thank you. Music, indeed. I was about to schnizik. I can do that thing where I look at a bright light and then I sneeze. Uh, we're playing the Arcs game mode, which is the first scenario in the list after you beat Winter Home. We're trying to save seeds. Alright, we're about to get a group back. Let's go. <gasps> look at all the stuff they're bringing. 43 food. 16 cores, hell yeah, 110 wood and coal. We're gonna, need, we're gonna need to make more room for wood. Okay. We're ready, baby. Bring it in. You love this game, but you lose 95% of the time. All good, dude. All good. Play again. Try again it down and just try to be more focused each time and save often you know you can always run back and there are Iron Man modes that prevent you from saving but I think it's fair to do it the way you like it the first time snow covered supplies the snow covering the crates is deep but we were we're sure there are some valuable supplies buried down there precious supplies under the snow we uncovered many crates full of cauliflower and pierogies there's no telling who may have left them here I might have an idea. Plus 43. Now let's bring that avocado toast back to base. Bunch of green onions and other things piled on. Pile it high. Are you eating people yet? You need your meat? Not yet. Isn't that alternative food sources? No, do. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll go scout three. Great, everybody's RTB. Once these guys get here, we're going to that expedition camp ASAP. Lots of problems with coal. People, hey, why are you walking through the snow? There's a road. Jeez. Did I call you? No. Maybe that's your your bat symbol. Like up in the sky. Is it a clock? The birds? I don't know. It's something else. Mm. Scout group one returned to the city. Beautiful. And bringing lots of coal right in time. Good job, boys. Head out to the old expedition camp, please. 13 hours to arrive. Small camp, just a few tents. There's no signs of activity. We have one. Time to rest, folks. Works out today. Did we finish that research? 
Okay, I have two more hours on the shift. Come on, baby. Finish it. Man, we cut it close. You know, Bryce hitting us up with a uh, Texas Roadhouse recipe. <laughs> For those of you who want it, I had it saved. Texas Roadhouse butter equals two sticks of butter at room temp, a cup of powdered sugar, a cup of honey, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and then mix it until how you want it. Enjoy. Damn. Sounds good. Cauliflower is my favorite flower. Isn't it pretty? Tasty. Dude, cauliflower is amazing. It's like, hey, I'm going to pretend to be broccoli, but I'm actually just mashed potatoes. Tee -hee. Also, I taste buttery. Love you. It's like, wow, thank you, cauliflower, for all you've done for us. Love it. Well, we could upgrade to a steam coal thumper. Okay, so now we're getting 15% faster. Beautiful. It wasn't 10%. It was 15. Gorgeous. And then we got that 10% faster production on top of that from the earlier upgrades. So, beautiful. Industrial hothouse. Well, this doubles the food production. Ooh. What do we have for food right now? 64. That'll double to 120 something. So that'll be. Well, when we're eating it, and then we need more. Damn. Nope. I'm gonna save. I, I don't know. Hot hot house? Question mark. Maybe we'll try it. Oh. Now on this map we've got plenty of we've got a huge forest down here, so I haven't had to employ the uh, the wall drill yet. Actually, I have, I have too much wood. We need to get rid of some. Go more into mining. Or what about an upgraded steam steelworks? That's what we should do. That's what I want. More steel. And we can get more automatons. What do you guys bring it back? Food, steam cores, and iron. Camp. Okay, well, coal is going up. We got about a day, maybe and a half until temperature drop. Oh, it's going to be bad. No coal mines yet. No coal mines. We're going with the thump and we're going with the uh, extendo uh, gathering post. It seems to be working for us. Coal numbers are going up. Ten workers available. One there. Now, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. 
Pioneer and Endurance modes are for true masochists, yeah. Or Mega Pros. I'm sure there's got to be a playthrough of somebody just playing the game. Hardest difficulty, no sweat, uh, no pause, just enjoying, being like, yep, cool. Nobody died, cool. Okay, next time we're going to play it on the highest speed, guys. No pause, high speed, blindfold. People will do it, dude. Alright, those coal numbers are going up. Gilbert's going to be healed in about four hours. We're getting him... We're, we're battering his wounds in the uh, Texas Roadhouse butter. It's got healing properties. It's like when, you know, when Schwarzenegger uses the 40mm uh, grenade launcher on the uh, metal dude from T2. And it comes back together. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Gilbert's getting the good treatment. Gilb's getting it good. Cole's working out. Well, let's check numbers. Okay, one, two, three. Yep, okay. Happy with the thumpers. Good. Ha happy with that. For now. Yeah, this is actually a Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> That's right. That's right. About to reach that camp there. They don't call it comfort f food for nothing, yeah. All green veggies are good. Non-green veggies are 90% bad tasting. Uh, it depends. I like wax beans. Brown beans are great. But yeah, gr greens are awesome. Like, it just goes so well with proteins and such. Like, if you have a nice steak, it's just enhanced by, like, green beans or, like, a good salad or broccoli or some something. It just It's just better. The messenger lives. Captain, we've managed to treat the messenger from New Manchester. He's made a full recovery. Thank you. If I'd been in New Manchester, I'd have died. We don't have the means to treat such a deep frostbite. His city seems to be dangerously undeveloped. Okay. Did you mark it on the map, dude? No. Worthless. Banish him to the Shadow Realm. We've got one idle worker. He's just a regular old, regular Joe. Put him to work at the cookhouse. Keep him warm. Welcome aboard. Now it's made it to the expedition camp. Tents in the camp are old and covered in patches. Seems to be deserted. Wood. Fallen heroes. We found the bodies of the other new Manchester expedition members. Their supplies were completely insufficient for this weather. Uh, that one of them managed to reach our city. Uh, from here, beggars belief. Broken vehicle. Take resources. 110 wood. Tiny pieces of metal sticking out of the ice. I 
That guy didn't need prosthetics, so we're good on that, I think. Somebody working in the infirmary now. Those guys will be back with a medal, and we should be able to make another robo. Beep boop. Beep boop. have returned 43 3 and 144 the snowy hill let's build a robot yeah Search where they cost less, but it's all good, bruh. Let's upgrade these steel mills. Okay, more beep boop. Could keep the uh, this guy as a uh, inky uh, the uh, working at the bar. Place where everyone knows your name. Bum ba da 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 dum bum. Yeah, yeah. Number one fires. Yeah. <laughs> Monka DMCA. Mm hmm. Going to jail. Eater efficiency upgrade. That would be good as well. wood and 20 steel less. That's kind of big. Research that. Make some more robos. Make one. They're done with one. I'll hold off. Maybe. Nah, we need more. More robots. Need. I, I'm surprised at how quickly they can make these damn robots. Amazing. So we got them all working in the coal industry, food industry. The one working in the 
Sawmill. What's this one named? Where's he at? I would require more steel. Yeah, there it is. He's probably fueling up or something. Preferably we'll put him in the steel industry at night, keep him there. that we need 8,000 coal. Time to rest, folks. Works out for today. All right, let's make more coal or more steel, I mean. guy in the bar. There we go. Boom, boom. I look like an old friend of yours. Vicious because you never saw us both in the same room. You mean Bruce? Last name Wayne? Or spider underscore man. Who, of course, is Clark Kent. People think it's actually Peter Parker, but you've been lied to. Budget cuts. You had to work two shifts. Yeah, I don't think I want to do any more laws. Like, maybe extra food for the bill? I'll hold, that's going to be my ace in the hole. We have 14 unemployed engineers. And these things are almost full again. I think we need to build another gathering post. I want another ro robot, though. Let's put those guys back in there for now. And then maybe there. Okay, we're good. I need another robot. Uh, what do you prefer in real life? A snowstorm or relaxing afternoon thunderstorm? Uh, where I am now, probably a thunderstorm, but I'd love to go to, like, the middle of a wood. I'd love to just go to an A-frame cabin somewhere, wherever. Uh, Montana, Colorado, northern Minnesota, wherever. And just stay in a cabin for like three or four days and just have my own little frost punk where a big O storm blows through. And I'm just sitting there eating like kids' cuisine microwavable meals and playing roller coaster tycoon. On like a Windows 98 machine. Heaven. Heavenly. Steam cores. Oh my god, you're right. 
What if the power goes out? Oh my god. I'll just keep a diesel generator in the cabin to keep it warm. Don't want it getting cold. Want it warmed up, ready to go. Just in case a... So what, what if I just break out playing like uh, NES? Like what if I want to play some Paperboy? You never know. Scouts have reached the broken vehicle. They did? Steam cores, let's go. Some of our machines buried under the ice. Best guess is that it's a heavy cargo cra uh, crawler. A suicide mission. Uh, this vehicle belonged to the members of an expedition of New Manchester. It was clearly too heavy for the ice that it rode over. Using it was pure suicide. We've unlocked the observation tower and abandoned the sawmill. That sawmill, baby. After this, we should unlock the, the faster sleds. Well, I want them to go faster and further now. Would I enjoy a fire watch job during the summer? Yeah. Boy. It would have been cool as hell. To, like, be a teen in, like, 85 to 95 or so, somewhere between there. And just work as a, a fire watch dude. Great. Okay, let's stand by and wait for more stuff to come through. About to have too much coal. Switch that. Got a little bit extra room on the food. How much food do we need? Oh, we only need 500. Eh. Fine. Yeah, our scouts are slow. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get them upgraded. too much. Oh. Oh, we got enough to make a ro robot. Eight thousand coal. I'll even be able to produce two. And she's getting colder. Ninth robot now. Currently out ice fishing in northern Michigan. My life is frostbunk. Oh, that's great. I've done ice fishing. It is a it's a, it's a time. It's a fun time. Okay. We have a lower. Lower cost for making the robots. Now, let's make those scout sleds faster.
Why would you fish for ice? Your freezer makes it automatically? Wow. Must be one of them fancy imports that you get from the store. Wow. Things are still pretty warm. Another one built. Put them on wood production, I think, maybe. Or we could build another gathering post. and then keep this warm and now it's too cold well I'll just put them on steel got wood going there then we got four people free put them in the medical tent just in case Robot ASAP. Oh, that one's just chilly. Okay, we're good. Not great, but it's good. Low and steady is winning the race. We're being a turtle. Oop. A turtle. There we go. Turtle. Tur turtle. Lay turt. Kareem, thank you very much for the one month as a, as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for your membership. Oh, good. We're out of wood. That means we're making another robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. We're getting that research done. More scouts research now. Give me the lighter. Hey chat, what's the difference between a Zippo and a Hippo? One's a big old heavy land mammal and the other one's a little lighter. Hee <laughs> hee. more storage. I'm going to start that research first. A Zippo can fit in your pocket. That's true. Factual facts. Did the pungent with him? You liked it. You liked it. It's good. You liked it. Lighter, lighter scouts go. Get this stuff done faster. Scouts are bringing in tons of stuff. Another robot done. What do we do with him? Infirmary, maybe? Yep. 
We could build another tech center. And then get... We could build another one. I think five figures in there will do better than one here. And what's the recipe now? Wow, 75 wood, 75 steel. That's great. Beautiful. Time to rest, folks. Works out for today. Mm hmm. work for another two hours though damn we'll have to do the research tomorrow part welcome back dude good to see you 14 months as a raptor hatchling hi raptor hi chat hey good to see you man welcome back locked in for more frost punk comma frost the abandoned sawmill boy what could be there wood wow i would have never guessed that indeed it is a sawmill hasn't been used in a long time everything is covered in ice not much left there was probably an outpost here years ago but now there's nothing left but the, at this frozen sawmill 192 wood wow let's go an observation tower you lay french So, Bobby, you like these games? Me too, man. This one is not going too bad. I think we're doing okay. There's been some close calls, but how the game goes. Another robot. But we'll need to research houses right before the storm hits. Those we could probably do. Am I ready for the storm? I'm ready for... Uh, my, my body is ready. I'm ready for whatever this day brings. Oh, look at all these people being served. Nice. Gilbert serving up some drinks. Dude's got a story to tell about his survival. Cold. Guy's got a story. Okay, so that's gonna take us a day. Take nine hours. Yeah, let's go straight there. Well, that group has Team cores as well, but I think we're all right. Negative uh, 50 is surfing weather, yeah. Hell yeah. Give me as many robots as we can. Give me another resource depot. Give me a Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. Oh, I'd love to see a Netflix series on this. Imagine that. Someone would have to play the captain. 
It'd be Owen Wilson. is the captain. Captain, welcome to your first day. We have to choose between uh, lighting all of our houses on fire or firing up the generator. Wow. Ah. It'll be interesting. Jim Carrey. He'd work. He can do dramas. Is, uh, what's his name still around? Who was, who was the guy, uh, was it Sam Elliott? Is that the guy from, uh, Big Lebowski who's at, like, the, the bowling alley? Can we get Sam Elliott? Is he around? I just I'd love to see the additions like M Matthew Broderick, William Defoe, Michael Keaton, John Goodman as Captain. John the Good maybe. Oh, that'd be good. Fire up the generator. Lighter scouts uh, sleds researched. Good. Difference engine and then generator efficiency upgrade. Now we do got to go down the line because eventually we do have to hit those high tier. Twenty-five on that. Now it's made it to the snowy hill. Nothing here but a promising sight of a stone ship and a snowbound dreadnought. Go down to the old dreadnought first. Pa Pauly Shore is captain. Take over this other sawmill. So we could build another sawmill and have three working.
build that one throw an automata my tom tom out there Holly sure he'd be an interesting candidate or or what about um oh, what's his name uh, who's the guy who uh, voiced uh, toe mater I was in like Delta Farce. Oh, Tom Green, that would be great too. P Popeye? Yeah, you're crazy. Yeah, Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy is Captain. Oh, I have a feeling that would work out. For whatever weird re reason, I feel like that would just be a big dub. He'd win a uh, daytime Emmy, Oscar, things that he wasn't even, uh, somehow he'd win a Grammy award. People would reference his, um, performance for a long time another one done you need free workers to build uh, workers will build at nighttime <laughs> Danny DeVito long hours of toil now guys we gotta keep working hard I know you guys are gonna be mad I know we're getting there Okay, we just built two robots. Um, build another gathering post. We need more coal. How do I build... That'll cover both. No. Oh, maybe that'll work. Bring in much more coal. Bill Paxton dead? Yes, unfortunately. The game over guy from uh, the guy said, "Game over, man. Game over." He was also in True Lies, and he was awesome as like a used car salesman. But yeah, unfortunately, he's passed away. But yeah, the the game over guy from Aliens. Outstanding dude. This is really funny. Cool. I think he also was in like Terminator, like the I think he played a punk. In uh, like Terminator 1 or something like that. Or some movie. He was in a lot of stuff, yeah. Sometimes he wasn't even in, in like in a lead role or kind of a me He was in a memorable role that wasn't really memorable. But yet it, it is. You know what I mean? Like he was It was just like something. It seemed like he showed up to do. Like he was just doing it for fun. He's a cool guy. Yo, Cryptic Fox. What's up, dude? Frostpunk is such a good game. Looking forward to Frostpunk 2. Same. And apparently a mobile game just came out today. Which is. Uh, but 
it brings up the question for all the vehicles that had to travel from like, uh, I don't know, let's just say London or wherever they came from. Well, I guess maybe from many of the different cities. It would be cool to have a management game where you have to manage those giant vehicles that go across the world to bring people here. I feel like Frostpunk's something they could certainly explore a lot more. We'll see if Frostpunk 2 is good. Hopefully so. We need 125 wood. We need more wood. Yeah, more wood is needed. Yeah, there indeed is a, a mobile game, yeah. Awesome job in the Western Tombstone. Mm. Yes. Oh, Bill Paxton was in Predator too. There you go. Cool dude. Oh yeah, Twister as well. Yep. And uh, Titanic. made it to the observation tower. This is some kind of temporary observation point. We'll have a better view of what's ahead of us uh, when we get to the top of it. The other city. We can see New Manchester. Many strands of smoke rise can be seen uh, rising from it, which means that it's still inhabited. We must reach them as soon as possible. New Manchester and cracked ice. Take resources 133 wood. Let's go to the cracked ice first. We get to that city it's going to be bad news and it could hurt our discontent and hope a little bit so we'll just kind of just kind of hold off he was in commando as well damn oh oh no oh we could put in an ottoman no i want them to gather coal wait until those are done i got plans are we building a third one? Good. Guys have arrived at the Dreadnought, an old abandoned Dreadnought that's completely covered in snow. It's been here for a long time. Team Core Steel and Coal. Pioneer Vehicle, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, one of th there should be a game on these things. That would be cool as hell, where you actually get to, uh, to manage these. Pioneer Vehicle, the land. This land Dreadnought wasn't designed for this kind of weather. Presumably, it was part of uh, one of the prospecting expeditions before the great winter we found some priceless resources here go to the stone ship have 125 wood. They start with research on the difference engine. Differential lock. Need to be <laughs> brother, we need to do some heavy rolling, brother. If you command one of the ships, uh, then the one you command could have survived. Yeah, it'd be interesting, yeah. It would lead right into uh, like they don't really mention those red knots too much, except for that they were used to just go across the ice. But, yeah, you'd imagine thousands of people, thousands of food. 
I don't know how you could do it, but it'd be interesting. It'd be like the Oregon Trail in a way, I think. Food. I want the other one working there. Alright, so now we need one more robot to work the other gathering post. Could also do a uh, coal mine and upgrade it, but uh, without having to build that, we've kind of put all of our resources into the robots and the uh, upgrades. And we've got about eight days until bad times hit. So we're down to our, 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 a week almost. tomorrow. We don't have enough materials to start, I don't think. Oh, he's out of uh, resources there. Okay, that's going. Well, with that, you can go gather coal for a while. Build a new sawmill. Could build a double. to a lot of places, man. I'm surprised towards the end of each run when you look at the map and you're like, wow. We went back and forth, north, east, south, west. Wow. Game always, always reminds you of the Stargate episode beneath the surface. Oh, right. Actually, that that's another thing we got to play. There's a, a new um, there's a new Terminator game that I want to give a try to. That they've given us like early access to, and there's also that new Stargate game, which I didn't get a chance to play. It kind of they were going to release it right around Christmas, and then um, they delayed it a bit, and then it came out just shortly after the delay. Okay, differential engines, Getting less coal. We only need to use 75 wood, 75 steel now. You know what happened uh, recently, Chad? I think the didn't PlayStation have its state of play? Uh, maybe um, before we're done here, we'll go check that out. I want to see if there's new uh, games coming for PlayStation. And more importantly, I want to see some PlayStation games come to PC, like Ghost of Tsushima, which would be amazing. Cracked ice. We've discovered a wrecked vehicle and the Manchester Dreadnought. Ooh, okay. Hold on, let's... Here's what I think we could probably do. We could try to hang, swing this way to the Dreadnought. Or we'll do wrecked vehicle, Dreadnought, then the city, and then maybe roll back. A box-like shape sticking out of the snow. Right 
Sprout of wood. Good. That means we're starting robot production. You like the little uh, footprints from the, the robots? Yeah. I like how they move kind of in conjunction with the layout of the city. Like when you go into the, the build mode, you kind of see they follow a certain pattern. Very clever. They were very clever when they made this game. There's so many cool things to like. I want to see more games like this to just come out and just be like, Hey, uh, we're making a good game. Would you guys like to buy a good game? Right here. I'll take that. <laughs> Please give me DLCs. Oh, Chad, I, I cry whenever I think about some of the DLCs that could have come out for my favorite game, World in Conflict. It was supposed to be like Cuba in the second game, and they were. It was going to be that whole like Red Alert 2 route where like Cuba was going to invade like Florida and Texas and stuff. And man, imagine, imagine all that. That would have been cool. Just put me in that world, man. I want to see those characters. James Webb. Colonel Sawyer. All interesting. Okay, we want to build another storage thing for coal, I think. And we're supposed to store 8,000 coal? Like, I'm going to need to do that research thing that upgrades the storage. I think we should do that next. Rather than spending more resources. Uh, a steam lorry and a supply depot. Go oh, to the lorry. A heavy steam lorry. It must have been abandoned a long time ago. No. you think these Stargate games are an uber ripoff? Oh, darn. You know, I really want to see more franchises be get games, though. And it, I think it's so hard sometimes to find a fit for them. Like, Terminator as an RTS seems good. Stargate, yeah. But I'm very happy that Predator and, like, Warhammer 40k got some really good attention. I mean, 40k always gets great games, but what I mean is that it's good to see them still going strong. And same with the... Um, um, Predator. Uh, sorry, Alien. But Predator sh sh should get some stuff cool too. That'd be cool. Who's Lori? We're going to go We're gonna go visit her. She's on Steam. We're going to add her as a friend. got another robot. You can go work down there. Max down on coal. Building another resource depot though. got three steam cores. What can we use those on? They made it to the wrecked vehicle. Uh, we found the wrecked vehicle. Uh, 
a wreck of some sort of vehicle, we can salvage some parts from it. Steel and coal. Whilst disassembling the wreck to salvage what we could, we found a hidden cache of supplies. Oh. Metal and coal. The Manchester Dreadnought. Uh, a large land... What was that? The storm acted weird. Stay back, storm. A large land dreadnought buried in the snow. No signs of activity are visible. Old homes. Captain so... Oh, we'll, we'll heat the homes. I'm going to not address this now, though. Oh, we'll have to get them upgraded to houses. Look. Put up with it for a little while longer. Houses are on the way. We're going to look at some hooses. Do you think a total merge of Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo would be good or a bad thing for the world of gaming? Horrible. It'd be horrible. We all know it would be bad, too, which is why even the government makes rules against monopolies. Although, those rules, of course, get bent and broken all the time. But, no, it'd be horrible. It'd be horrible. It'd be the worst thing to happen to gaming. The best thing to happen to gaming is just people um, who unfortunately get laid off or fed up with their jobs or something like that and they learn to uh, make games and then they end up then we get bangers like papers please and um, you know people who become self-taught and then work for indie studios which i think 11-bit studios is the largest indie developer in um poland like it's not even a mainstream studio so i want more like you know small indie devs of like teams of 20 30 40 people which sounds big but that's uh, nothing in comparison to like all the people who work at all the different Ubisoft studios. I mean, it's crazy. But I love it when, you know, one to three people get together to make a game. It's like when we played um, that one indie game a few days ago, The Last uh, the Last Flame. I forgot the exact name, but the, you know, the auto battler was cool. Like, it's really nice when people follow a passion project. They're fueled by passion maybe a grudge and some coffee and they're like you know what screw it I'm going to make my own game and then they do and then it's good and that's good and I want to see that I like small teams tremendously that's why I want Slytherin to keep keep going too you know and keep making those Terminator games and Broken Arrow and stuff like that otherwise we just get Call of Duty Season Infinity symbol and it's like hey guys uh, we've made a taco sticker that you can put on your gun, $10. Not gaming. That's funding the problem. Ooh, it's getting close. Okay, what are we going to make next? You know, I'm going to have to take this one to court, where it's like, technically we've got 2,000 coal in storage, but then there's like another, like, thousand almost sitting on the ground. And it's like, I mean, you know, technically it's in storage, we just haven't collected, it's not under the earth. I guess you could argue that's storage too. Huge machi machine was used to haul tons of cargo until it broke. You can dismantle it to retrieve some resources for the steam lorry. Generator is here were built thanks to steam lorries like this and their ability to haul cargo over frozen landscape. It's a shame it can't be repaired. Okay. Three and 142. Three steam cores, 142. Maybe we'd like to make one more auto ma 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 tan and then make another research building. Two. 
Where's everybody working? Oh yeah, the factory. Oh, we can have the people in the factory work in the research when they're not factory. Good. Big brain emote. Forge of iron is full. Have to build another resource depot. And we'll diversify. Maybe we could build a uh, coal mine and then try to get the rest of that coal. Found a, a ton of uh, steam cores. Wait until AI starts producing games and other things. Yeah, there'll be legal, uh, there'll be legality against that though, because then they're gonna get sued for how they were trained or something like that. You have to train an AI. You have to give it something to learn from. Uh, the Manchester Dreadnought machine is enormous, but less advanced than the one we're using. Steam core and steel. Dreadnought would have carried hundreds of people. It must have belonged to the citizens of New Manchester. Now it's broken beyond repair. Metal and steam cores. All right, let's get to the city. It'll take a day. Look at all this schnizik everywhere. Music, 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 and a little bit of schnizik right there. Right there, there's some schnizik. Oh my. Wow. Little schnoo here, a little zek there. Everywhere. a quarter of the way there for well over a quarter for coal iron's been maxed out give me another robot for the possible coal mine I will build begin Oh, actually, uh, we can get one to work here at the uh, the infirmary. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll upgrade the houses. we got to get the uh, current research done to research houses. Steward! MechWarrior 5. I heard good stuff about MechWarrior. Good game. I love those mech games. Uh, Armored Core was a treat. Glad that they made another Armored Core game. Now I want another Ace Combat. If I can cry again. Cry harder. Ace Combat 8. Cry harder. Research do I need that one? Resource up upgrade. Oh careful boys, care whoa, whoa, whoa I'm playable. Who them clipped it. Wow. Uninstalling. How could the devs allow this to happen? 
I bet they know it exists and they don't even care. Yay. Let's do a quick little research on that, please. Give me more Sturge. Complete chaos. Complete. I might need to get another infirmary down. What the hell is that weird? What the hell is that? You guys see that? Another unplayable. Look at that. Unplayable. Ah. Okay. Well, luckily, I was able to dodge out of the way. I could have been hurt. Not physically, but emotionally. <laughs> Luckily, I deflected it. All right, let's get you working over here, friendo. You guys go work here. You guys can work here until we're done. All right, we made it to the supply depot. The shack is falling apart, but its contents still have some value to us. Searching the shack, we found plenty of valuable supplies. 35 raw food, 160 wood. RTB. We'll be here in 18 hours. Whoa, look at that. Damn. All that raw food, 160 wood. I just want the... I don't even need the metal. I just want coal and, and steam cores. Good thing we're upgrading the storage. And we'll disband that uh, group. Oh, you think it was a UFO? Long hours of toil. People, I am not going to let you rest. Keep working. No. Discontent, look, discontent can rise all you want. Hey man. They've almost got that research done. This is how research is done, Chad. It's done via like <laughs> a transmission. At the end of the world you can rest when you're dead, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that research is done we won't have to worry about full storage anymore as much oh I love uh, iron harvest that's a great RTS diesel punk love that love that okay so now we can switch some of the sturge let's do one two wood and one two actually that's fine Oh, wait, steel. Okay, good. All right, new research. Gathering post installation. Uh, insulation, no. Sawmill, uh, maybe. Advanced steel works. I don't think we have time there. Ah, generator efficiency. Let's do that. Burn less coal. another odd amount of ton. Get this guy going for the future coal mine that we need to build. Now we got our people mostly just working in research. And at the cookhouse. Which food is full. Uh, 
Yeah, the art for Iron Harvest looks great. It really reminds me a lot of this game. And that's where I learned about our good friend Wojtek. Poland Artillery Bears. The game basically just features Poland as a playable faction, which is cool. Breathe through your nose for the first time in four days. Nice. Very good. Take it back. Yeah, Scythe, yeah. Scythe and Iron Harvest, yeah. Discontent is on the rise, I know. It'll go down little by little, though. Oh, three requests ignored. Oh, you know. Keeping us alive. Possibly New Manchester nearby. Uh, this run doesn't require order or faith. It's a um, one of the scenarios, and I haven't had to make that decision yet. I don't know if I, I don't know if I need to. Got also made it to New Manchester. Oh boy. Oh boy. The city is much bigger than ours, yet it seems far less advanced and more crowded. Yo, Berker, thank you very much for the five gifted membership for chat. Look at that. A dying city. A dimly glowing generator stands in the middle of a shanty town. There are so many people here, too many. They look sick, underfed, and most of them don't have any proper roof over their heads. Nothing can save them from the storm, except us. Uh, we will leave New Manchester for now, but we'll do our best to send help. All right, RTB. Aid for New Manchester. We found New Manchester, but its people are lacking in almost everything needed to survive. We can try to help them, but only... Automatons will be able to carry the supplies across the windswept wasteland to them. We want to help uh, them to survive the storm. First, they need construction materials, wood and steel, to be able to build shelters. This is just the beginning. They'll need not much more, and especially food and coal. Coal? I need that stuff to live. Go be bad. Santa Claus will give you that. Uh, yeah, there's 600 steel and 600 wood. Are you kidding me?
Wow. They need the big O. They need the six hundo. I'm going to need one to cut down more wood. I need one to transport stuff. Oh, my God. So it looks like, guys, in about six minutes, the uh, PlayStation State of Play is going to begin here. And uh, I think we'll tag that on to the end of this stream, too, just to see what's going on. Could be new games announced. We should definitely see what they got to offer. The final rabbit. Let's watch it. Okay, we could. We obviously won't have enough time to finish up this scenario before Unshrouded stream, so we'll do it as a little special event. So some cool special stuff coming soon. We could see some unannounced games. It would be quite cool. Okay, we got two hours left. They reach New Man. Oh, no, they're coming. They're go coming home. That group is. What do they got for us? Okay, we'll get really close with the iron, 287. And would we need? Well, depends on how much we make by the time they get here. 22 days until Pacific Drive. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Making it in 30 seconds. You got a pre-ordered on PS5? I'm very excited for that game. I'm, I'm going to be like all in on that one. Whoa, we just got a uh, damn steam achievement. Have 50, 15 autonomous top top toms at the same time. All right, look at that. Raw food, steam cores, wood, coal. Beautiful. Welcome back, team. And we can disband this group. Beacon. There it is. And we get five people free to work on stuff. Go make food. And we have a free robot, but we're going to put him down there. Get going. Time to earn your bread. Earn your shillings. Let's go. Eighty-five days to Manor Lords, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. April twenty-six for Manor Lords, yeah. Okay, more people going into the hospital. Let's get that damn lumber mill done. Holy crap, we can send everything. Wait, we're good. We can send something. There we go. And how do we send it? Holy crap. 
crap, we did it. Uh, gather 600 steel, 600 wood, one auto, and send it. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Relief expedition. Oh, my God. We're sending relief. Let's go. All right, cool. So let's send the relief expedition. God, I hope they're not sending Fritz. Gonna, oh, it'll only take him a day to get there. Food for New Manchester. With basic shelter secured, most uh, pressing need is food. Hunger forced these people to do dire things. May God forgive them. Gather enough food rations and have the Tom, Tom and Toms carry them to New Manchester. How much? 2,000? But I need that food to not die. Oh, wait a minute. We just got a bunch of rations. 109. We can make 200 out of that. That'll leave us 300. We, I think we can do it. We got six days before the storm. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, I, I need two of them now to send that. Oh, boy. We'd have to take two robots off of whatever duty in order to... Eh, duty. We'd have to take them off that to go over there. Uh, I need the iron so I can make another robot. Same with the wood, and we need coal no matter what. They're, they're probably going to need that next. Oh, my God. This is going to take a big brain. Big brain. We'll deal with that next time. All right, let's jump into the uh, PlayStation State of Play. We're going to do a little extendo bonus stream. I feel rejuvenated and ready to check out with you guys what's new. We'll come back and finish up this scenario uh, in another stream in the future, and then we'll probably start the next one in the list, which is the um, the refugees. That'll be interesting. Well, let's go on to uh, PlayStation State of Play and see if there's any new games. Hopefully new games. Many new games. Let's watch. This is going to be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so state of play. Oh, maybe maybe they'll show more Frostpunk footage here. Maybe it's coming to consoles. I don't know. I don't know. I just live here. I enjoyed my time with Foam Stars then, and hope you will too. But I just can't help but fear for its long-term appeal due to the recent fate many live service games. Okay, have met. we got one minute to go. One minute. Hype in the chat. The first year of Foam Stars life with new cosmetics, characters, maps, and modes promised. But all of which hype in the chat. Let's go. It's oh. Okay, we're not going. Nobody going nowhere. The live feed just got cut. Um, hold on. Okay. Standing by on PlayStation. Now this could be cool because we could, you know, anything could happen. We could see Ghost of Tsushima. Probably, you know, a, a lot of this is unlikely, but we'll see. Maybe some new uh, DLC will be announced for. Oh, maybe we'll see Hellblade or something. Maybe we'll see. Uh, although these could be PlayStation specific, I I don't really know how these events work. But what I really want to see. Ghost of Tsushima 2, we won't see it. 
but also um, yeah, maybe something for um, uh, what is that game? Horizon Zero. The one with the robots. Horizon Zero. Keshi 69 six nine. Whatever, whatever, whatever the hell the name of that game is. Spider-Man DLC. Oh, you're right. Uh huh. It'll be fifty Spider-Man DLCs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the day before. Yep, yeah, we're gonna see the day before become a PlayStation exclusive. Yep. Yeah. Maybe Tetris. Okay, 30 seconds. Here we go. Big event. Let's see what happens. I know. Big hype. Big hype. Big hype. Three, two, one, let's go. <gasps> Final Fantasy, that's probably what we're going to see, chat. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, that's what we're going to see. Oh, this is uh, Hell Divers, right? I play this PC only though. Woo! Hell yeah, brother! Rip and dip, let's go. What is that an ATAT? -AT? What the hell? Cool. This is like Star Wars meets um. Maybe a little bit of go, um, Starship Troopers. Ah, this looks badass. This will be fun with the boys. I play this. This is cool. Ooh, big old minigun. There in my hair. Okay, I, I, I will come on. Hi everyone, I'm Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Studios, and I'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024. All right, well. The first three years of PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds, and groundbreaking gameplay from PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've also expanded PlayStation Plus with new features, including PS5 game streaming. And with PSVR 2 and PlayStation Portal, which released last November, we're committed to offering new and surprising ways for our audience to interact with their PS5. But none of this means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences oh, and diverse really ways to play. Today, we're looking ahead to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended gameplay and announcements we hope you find as exciting as we do here at PlayStation. Enjoy the show. I'm, I'm excited. I'll take that. Um, oh, that's I actually don't don't know Welcome what this is. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. Oh, Stellar Blade. The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. Swords. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. 
Adam, born on Earth, like is in pursuit something. of an energy source Still, called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT buy is. So this must be eight or seven. Lily, a member of the Fifth Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis the second. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Ooh. Here. Big Done. old gun. Something Hell yeah. It does feel different. Double jump. That she puts a gun on her wrist and gets double jump? Hell yeah. This is Zion. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Zion, Eve if you rearrange those leathers, it's Ixion. And is an object of both you, awe Zion. and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will gradually loosen up as Eve shows tools? a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Wait right here. Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and Vibe the great music. desert. That tie, though, yeah. This place has been overrun by Natibas. Natibas? And malfunctioning machines and robots. Robots? I know all about robots. A supply camp in a place like this. You'll occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Ooh, that stew. Acquire new skills. Would I play this one? Maybe not this one, but I would watch someone play this. Upgrade I'd check it out. And more. She can also take a well-deserved break to oh restore God, her health. Maybe look at that stew. I don't know. Maybe if I get the stew. Eve will often encounter people in need. And other non-human beings who may need help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Natiba, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or Kitty. Oh, that's that's some death stranding level kitty. Something worse. Train. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nitiba? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Nitibas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. That is not an easy fight. It's fine. I can do this alone. It won't be easy. Angel, that's the unofficial name for members of the EVE Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! They're showing the hell out of this game. Man, I wish I hear, had hair that nice. Girls using like shampoo Drones and conditioner. Different. This is no longer the drone you use. So come to the hey, Too much anime for me. Um, you know, it honestly looks like Final Fantasy VII to me. Remake and Rebirth. But it's a different game. But I liked re Remake, but that's because I played that as a kid. The original. But I like this music. I do like this music. This music called Get It Girl. WAV. Stellar Blade. April 26, reclaim Earth for humankind.
안녕하세요. 시프터의 대표이자 게임의 디렉터인 김영태입니다. 이 게임은 우리가 수년간 유저 여러분들께 선보이기 위해 꿈꿔왔던 게임이며 플레이스테이션 5 그리고 플레이스테이션 스튜디오의 전폭적인 지원 덕분에 그 꿈을 현실화할 수 있게 되었습니다. 기나긴 여정이었고 빨리 팬분들이 4월 26일 스텔라 블레이드를 만나보시기를 기대합니다. Okay. Maybe, sir. I don't have a PS5. Okay. <gasps> Mario? Oh my god. We're getting a Crash Bandicoot game. Finally. Some more Donkey Kong. Oh, big, big old truck, brother, with a license plate that says gun. Hell yeah, brother. What? Wait, why were there multiple sandwiches? Sonic and Shadow Generations, Autumn 2024. That's a long time away, bro. Bear. That was a bear. Is this that foam game? lot going on. I'm hearing dub and step. Yeah, that, this one, this, this one's a little too much for me. A zenless zero, zone zero. Zenless zone zero. Yeah, ZZZ -Z -Z is, is right. Fight foam. Oh, this is the foam one. We totally didn't copy that game. Whatever it is. No, this is our game. Totally not flat tune at all. Mirror match madness. Okay, I'm, I'm loving that guy's vibe, but um, no. 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 February 6th. Oh, it'll be part of PlayStation Plus. So, you know, it's worth trying out, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. We've been here before. Yep. Oh. Okay. That's good. It's very... No way! Godzilla? They're doing a Godzilla crossover now? No effing way! Wow! What? I haven't even started the other deal. <laughs> so, uh, oh my god, there's too much content. May 2024, we're getting Godzilla and freaking Dave the Diver. Let's go! Wow. St yeah, Stunlock is right. Stunlock Studios for sure. Oh my god.
Wow, no way. I didn't think we were getting a Dave the Diver DLC update. Oh my god. Wait, is this the people who made V Rising? Oh, this is V Rising. Hey, more stuff for V Rising. V Fox? Schnizik? Oh, bear. That's a bear. No, never mind. Forget it. She go back to bed. Forget it. Oh my god. Dude, I haven't even started the DLC for Dave the Diver. Like, we got we got to the point where we're uh, about to start the Dredge DLC. Wow. I know. Big, big old Godzilla. Godzilla is basically a big old dino, so... Fox, look. Well, I mean, it's coming to PlayStation in 2024, but it does mean that there could be a big update. Usually they tie in big updates with console releases, too. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Benson. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. No effing way. Let's take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. Ooh, more Silent Hill? Oh. Is this a remake? Maybe I can be like her. Kojima on this? Oh, this this is this is big. Is this VR? Oh, it's Was like uh, Resident Evil 7. What's with this place? Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. What are you hiding inside? Maya? Um, nope, nope, yeah, nope, yep, nope, 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 yep, nope. I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, oh, my god. What should I do to deserve this? What's up, Stabbing Joe? Ooh. Silent Hill, the short message. Full game free to play. Cool. Free to play Silent Hill game. When? Konnichiwa. Silent Hill series of producer of Tsumeru Okamoto Motoi desu. Goran itadaita no wa Silent Hill The Short Message toyu mattaku atarashii Silent Hill to narimasu. Hon sak wa honjitsu kono ato PlayStation Oh, it's available today. All right, if you got a PlayStation new Silent Hill game out. Genda yo butai ni sa psychological horror wo zehi taiken shite kudasai. That's cool. New game for you on PlayStation. Start downloading. And that looks like Silent Hill 3? Or 2? 1? one. Oh god. Oh, this game still terrifies the hell out of me. No. No, I, I won't play Silent Hill without somebody else in the room. Mm -mm. No, I need an adult. No. Nope. No. That still freaks me out from the first time I played the damn thing.
Oh no. Silent Hill 2 is the one with Pyramid Head. Oh god. And it's got that Nemesis vibe to it too where he'll come after your ass. Hell to the no. Well, they've confirmed the envelope. Ooh, hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Say hi back. Of course they know. What if I told you that every word you say is being recorded? Every thought you've ever had. They're locked. Bioshock? On a space station? I think we've seen this one before. What would you do to free yourself? We both know the answer to that question. Nothing. You are the frog in a pot, boiling so slowly. You don't even know what's happening. But I'm here to set you free. Whether you like it or not. Wow, this is so Bioshock, I can't believe it. It's awesome. No, that, that was a new shirt. Wow, this is going to be great. Space Bioshock. Biospace. That's going on the list, but PlayStation, so hopefully on PC, we'll see. Oh, is this that scary one on the oil rig? No. Stare into the flame. Think of this fire as a beacon. Its warmth, its energy. This is Docker? No. Oh, yeah. Focus no, Metro. On your wife. Isn't this the Metro series? Let's step into the void. Metro VR. Oh, cool. See dirty play this one. I think those crackling noises mean good things. Inspired by the internationally best selling book. Yep, yep. Yep. Generic sword noises. Bro, I think he's dead. Oh, you get to make your own swords, though. That's cool. Blacksmithing. That is, that is legit cool, VR blacksmithing. This is like dark and darker, but VR? Dark and VR darker. Game known as Legendary Tales. Wow, a lot of these games are just like right around the corner, like ri literally next week. I knew you would come. I 
risen one. I make no mistake. The dragon will appear before me when the time is come. Update for SnowRunner. Is that a bear? That's a bear. You truly are formidable, Arisen. The wizard was cool. Yeah, cow bear. Make manifest. Cow bear. your strength of will, Arisen One. Those who can be of aid to you will reveal themselves in time. Thy will, thy soul, these are all the means thou hast to carve thy path anew. Dragon's Dogma Double. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not. Yeah, Snow Runner Season 12. Water. We'll see if we have time. This Team Ninja? Feudal Japan? Oh. A little, little more modern. 1858 in Yokohama. Dude, badass. 19世紀幕末の時代、最初に国外に開かれたヨコハマでは、独特の街並みが広がっています。主人公は鍵名を使って屋根の上に登ったり、装置、アビキルを使って高所から隠し、上空を移動することも可能です。攻撃やガードを駆使しながら敵の攻撃をセッカで弾いて体勢を崩すこと
It's like if I if you want to play Ghost of Tsushima again, but don't but want a different experience, it's like cool. A little more mystical. Kitty! Get a kitty. Oh. oh, that's gonna be some big property damage right there. Good need insurance. Forge your fate, March 22nd, 2024. That's a day before my birthday, chat. Mark the calendar. That's March 23rd, 2024. Don't be late. PlayStation Studios. No way. They make games? What did you do? She's messing around, man. That wasn't serious. I'm such an idiot. Ballistic Moon. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I'm going to give you ten seconds. No, please! No. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It was just a prank, man. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Choice is yours. Is this a saw game? I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you or is this like. Game. Is this like Until Dawn remake or something? Wait, is this an Until Dawn remake? Sam. Rebuilt and enhanced for PS5 me. and PC. It is. Uh, it is a re Until Dawn remake. I've never actually played that, so I, I should play this. Apparently Until Dawn is one of the best of the whole, um... What are they called? <laughs> Those games. Like the quarry, which means you guys should get the Dylan emote going. Until Dawn is good, but... Oh, what the hell? Oh, is this the new... This is Death Stranding! Or, or is this OD? I think it's OD. Maybe? That new Kojima game. Let's go. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is this is Death Stranding, too. That's uh, Fragile right there, I think. The Reedus. The Redis is in this game. His head? Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. And to the GHV Magellan, our mobile base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. Dude. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. First look at Death Stranding 2. This is big. These rooms over here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. This is one hell of a ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. 
it's the same deal as America. The people here are all spread out, cut off from one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. Dude, that low frame. Sam, would you rate. mind if I join you? Humor him. Hmm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. Really, Sam? Your buttocks? What about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. <laughs> Sam, do you read me? You'll first need to access the Mexico <laughs> side plate gate terminal. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can take the DHV Magellan and regroup at your position. The problem is, not everybody wants to be part of the UCA. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. Wow. As always, you'll be the one leading the way. Oh, to dude, this is this just a walking simulator? Oh, this game What's is really bad. This? You're the commander. Huh? That's right. These days, I'm fragile in name only. No one's gonna like this game at all. You get to an you open brought world. America together. Oh my God, there's a flood. How did be reborn as the UCA? But I'm afraid the death stranding is far from over. It made too much money. Humanity is still in danger. So it's, thus it's far from over. Still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. A lot of things changed after you went oh off your own. Oh my god, F that. Especially what is up with hand spiders recently? Dev, stop Rich it. Riches no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. So your friends and co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. So after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, humanity will be free from the need to move around. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... He found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Oh, hi. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Seeing as how I've been distributing the... Fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. Guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another. <laughs> Soulless little husk, huh? Let go of me! Pathetic <laughs> guitarist, where's the rest of your band? Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, he's got BB. Well, ain't that something? Was it you, Heads? Huh? Was it you that killed Lil? You still don't know, do you? <laughs> Fuck! R rock on, brother! Hell yeah! find on Lou. If he won't answers, you're gonna have to find him yourself. But 
the ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Oh, my God. Don't forget, coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. Now it's time to finish the journey, Sam. Please understand, Sam. We never meant to string you along. That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. And it was a hellhole. Wow. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. And now here with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima-san. Wow. Oh, hey. Welcome. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. Oh, is he talking about OD now? え、準備を始めてますけども、え、デストランディング 2年後には a new action espionage game by Hideo Kojima. This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? Yeah, he's heavily hinting at Metal Gear, but is it? え、もちろんインタラクティブなゲームなんですけども、え、ルックものがたりテーマ、そう、あ、this Okay, Kojima, I'll stay tuned. Thank you, I love you. This bump, cool. Yeah. Wait a minute. What was that? No, you don't. Is this, what does this mean? F physical entertain? What physical? What now? Interaction? What? What the hell is that? What? We got to see Death Stranding two stuff. I can't believe it, dude. Before we go, I have oh. one final announcement. Yeah. State of Play will return February sixth with an extensive look at Final Fantasy seven. Oh, nice. Okay. Square Enix will be sharing new gameplay details along with exciting news. Because they ran out of time. We hope you enjoyed the show. See you soon. Okay, so February 6th, there's going to be more stuff on Rebirth. Wow. Uh, wow.
Hold on, we we need to see this part again though. Hey man, brother. Like he decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless little husk, huh? Let go of me! Oh. Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? No, uh, 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 uh. That's something. Was it you, Heads? Huh? Was it you that killed Lou? You still don't know, do you? What the fuck? This is badass. You think you need to play Death Stranding 1 again? Yeah, me too. Ooh. Something he said. You don't know a goddamn thing about Lou. All right, Sam. Let's see what we can find on Lou. All right, that's enough. All right, guys. Well, that's it for PlayStation's Day to Play uh, and for... Um, our stream on Frostpunk for now. So I'll be back in a few days with more Frostpunk, and I'll be back in just a few minutes with uh, more Enshrouded with She Fox and Dirty and Lumberjack. We're getting a group together. Let's go. All right, I'll see you all in a bit. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thanks for all the big O super chats, member bombs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in a bit for Enshrouded, and we'll uh, talk about Death Stranding 2 sometime in the future. It's going to be wild. All right, I'll see you all in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.